Hey guys, what's up? It's Bibz07 here again. And this is going to be another RuneScape vlog. And uh, I know a lot of you guys are probably like, oh, he makes this comeback video with the legacy PKs and then doesn't make a video for like three or four days. The reason behind that is because my stupid ass dad took my computer because he thinks I like am addicted to being on the computer or something because he's an idiot and doesn't realize that kids stay up late. Like I stay up till, I, I would stay up till like four in the morning or some crap like that and then sleep till like two in the afternoon. But that's just like the regular stuff that like, college kids do in the summer and like I work at night so like I'm gonna be up later and like I don't know it really pissed me off but I got it back on Friday which was yesterday and I, I had to work though so I, I wasn't able to make a video and now I'm back on uh, Saturday today making this video for you guys letting you know I am back I didn't like take a break again right after I came back or anything crap like that I am back to make a videos again, and I'm going to continue working on Slayer series. I'm KCing right now for my Armadillo task, which is apparently really hard now. So hopefully, I can still do the task with this one trip. I hope I don't have to go bank or anything. Um, I wasn't really prepared for it to be too hard. I don't have that much food with me, but we'll see how it works out. I mean, I am on Slayer task, so you get that added um, damage bonus. So hopefully, that'll help me out as well in order to get this kill but i'll talk more about uh i mean that ta this task done but i'll talk more about the task itself in the video when it comes out uh but new poll came out today apparently haven't even looked at it yet oh it's just ruby well who honestly gives a crap runite or mine sounds cool well it's uh it's another seasonal poll vote you get to vote on what you want potatoes picked that's just stupid i'd love runite or mind i would actually maybe try and do that because um could be some good money and a uh, nice easy relaxing AFK but um, yeah uh, what I wanted to talk about was basically just that I am coming back I, I wasn't uh, I just wasn't able to make videos in the last few days um, so my apologies for that but uh, I do want to vote for this uh, Runite or mine sounds cool so I'll vote for that Herb's Grown is looking like the, big, the winner though but um, yeah, I just want to talk about the changes that came about with Legacy, uh, because I mean a lot of people know Legacy came out obviously, so a lot of people have been really playing on that and like trying to see how it is compared to EOC and stuff. And uh, I don't know how many of you guys watch Scape Skill. Probably a lot of you. He has a lot of subscribers. But I was watching his video the other day, and he was doing Calgarian Demons, and it looked like he could kill them faster than you could in uh, EOC mode with when when he was using Legacy which was kind of um, kind of strange to me because those things are like, you know, you'll hit like a ton of zeros when you're using EOC and using abilities and stuff. But when you're using Legacy, uh, he didn't hit any zeros and he was hitting like six, seven hundreds with uh, Mage, which is obviously high for Legacy because it's uh, based off a 990 uh, life point system. So, I don't know. I think maybe it might be better for certain things to use Legacy mode. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe they changed like the way you you hit on those demons now I haven't obviously been there since the update I mean they changed a ton of stuff including um, uh, God Wars and stuff like that they made God Wars harder so uh, I'm, I mean I haven't been yet I'm going to Armadillo right now I, I haven't been to any of the other ones though I was at Zami but I finished that task before the update actually rolled around so good thing I guess cuz I mean who knows how hard it is now I mean, it was really, really easy before you could stay for, like, an indefinite amount of time, like, as long as you wanted, as long as you brought enough overload to last you. I mean, you could even do it without overload, I believe, with, uh, like, certain gear and stuff, but it was too easy before, but now people are pretty much, like, in agreement that they, they like, over-buffed it, they made it too hard, so that's kind of annoying. Hopefully they change it, or if they already have, then that's good. Like, hopefully, they, I mean, like, in the gear I have, I think you should be able to solo Armadillo pretty easily. Because this is level 90 defense, or 85 even, but, like, still. Level 85 defensive gear. And, you know, a level 80 powerful uh, ranged weapon. Like, I should be able to solo the Armadillo boss pretty easily with this gear. Just because, you know, it's very high level gear. And Armadillo drops, you know, level, like, 70 or 60. I think it's 70. Um... But whatever level gear Armadillo is, that's what it drops. Like, it's not that good uh, compared to the gear I have. So I should be able to, like, solo the boss and get, you know, kill it. Like, with this gear pretty easily. I mean, I don't know how else to say it. But, you know, we'll just have to see uh, what they end up doing in the next coming weeks. 
One thing I'm obviously really excited for is the new boss, Araxor. That is coming out in two weeks. They said that in the BTS video. It's not coming out this week, coming out next week, which is good for me because I actually have to work all day this Tuesday, so I wouldn't be able to be on. And usually that's when the updates happen is on uh, Tuesday. And um, I'm actually going to visit, uh, a lot of you guys know Alex or uh, Nuz Nuz on his channel. I'm going to visit him uh, in real life on that same week so that would be pretty that'll be pretty awesome because we're gonna be like i'm gonna be like at his house when the boss comes out and then maybe me and him can do like live stream of the us trying to do the boss and stuff i think it'd be pretty awesome i'm really excited for that to come out so uh yeah araxor the new spider boss is gonna drop level 90 two-handed weapons and it's a solo or duo only which is interesting uh I think that's pretty nice because they've been releasing a lot of team bosses in the past, you know, like KK, Virago, Rise of the Six. So a solo or duo boss is really good because um, there aren't many good ones left these days unless you can solo next, which I don't know if you can solo next anymore because I hear she got buffed as well with the recent update with along with Legacy. But uh, another thing that came along with this uh, update is the hit splats actually are different looking now a, lo a little bit. You guys can obviously probably already know that, and you can obviously tell if you're watching this video. I like them; they look cooler now. I think I think the, they're like a lot more nice and clean looking, and um, yeah, I think those are just better in general. So, good update with the the hit splats, and they also uh, reverted back to uh, the 138 combat system based on player votes. So, as you guys can see here, um, your combat level is shown in your uh, skills tab. And I'm 138 combat because I am, you know, 99 in all skills. So um, that's kind of interesting. I mean, people voted for it to be 138 again, so they obviously implemented it. And um, I don't know. I mean, it, it's fine. I guess I didn't. I didn't really mind the 200, but uh, you can see here, Kriar is back to old 580. Uh, someone's actually in this world, so I'm gonna have to hop. But um, yeah, that's kind of weird uh, that they decided to just revert it. Like, I don't know. But uh, they also made it so magic and range are now more heavily weighted in the uh, in the calculation. So that's interesting as well. Like you can't be like level 121 with all max melee, I guess. Um, or maybe you can. I don't know. Well, I don't know. I don't know what I'm really saying. Yeah, I guess you can't because your magic and unless your magic and range were high as well. Because like if they were low then you wouldn't be that high of a level. Like, previously you could have probably like 50 magic, 50 range, and max all the other skills and be like level 120, like I just said. So yeah, that, that makes sense. All right, I'm not stupid. <laughs> At least no, not about that. But um, let me just take a quick look, see if I can <clears throat> pull up the RuneScape homepage, see what else, uh, what other changes occurred in the legacy. I, I kind of forgot. Um... Oh yeah, one thing I wanted to talk about was the health and damage changes. I'm going to log out here, so I'm, this is just going to be me talking. If you don't want to just see me talking for the rest of the video, then, you know, click away now. But I will have a new Slayer episode out in the next few days and a new Barrow's Beast as well coming your way. So look forward to that if you are heading out now. Otherwise, though, health and damage visually scaled down. So nine. So you usually, um, they, they change the way life points work as well. Not all armor gives life point boost anymore, and your base life points, I'm pretty sure, is nine thousand nine hundred so that's kind of interesting like the armor I'm wearing gives boost I think everything from Torva and up gives a boost so that's kind of interesting that they changed that but um yeah health and damage are visually scaled down so the 9900 life points you have in EOC is 990 in legacy so what I think could be a bit uh, you know strange and, and difficult for this is because what if you have like you know, you're 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 fighting someone who's using EOC, and the person you're fighting is using Legacy. Like, what if you have you know your 9,900 life points, and you go down to like, you know, two or like really low, like a, like a low number below 10. So if you're below 10 life points, then you'd be below one life point on the Legacy if you think about it, because pretty much it's just divided by 10 is your like you take your EOC life points and you divide it by 10 and you have your legacy life points so if you have like anywhere from one to nine life points left on EOC and you're fighting someone in legacy like it would it would seem like you you have like zero life points left because you're below one life point if you're 
looking at it from a legacy perspective. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Like, I, I don't know how the two systems are going to interact with each other in that type of way. I don't know if you guys understand what I mean, uh, what I'm trying to say. It sounded a lot better in my head, but then when I tried to say it, I kind of feel like it came across wrong. But hopefully you understand what I mean. I don't really know. That's just sort of something I thought of when I was reading through the updates. Um, let's see what else. Oh, they've re-added special attacks on weapons as well, including in, in the EOC as well, which is a weapon special attack is an ability in the defense abilities menu. So I don't know why it's a defensive ability. Like special attacks aren't usually defensive attacks. <laughs> like exactly, like it's in the name, special attack, not special, you know, defense. Like wh what? But um, it is in the defensive abilities menu, and you can um. You can use like claw specs, AGS specs, stuff like that once again. And obviously the specs are in Legacy as well. They've also uh, switched out critical hit chance with strength bonus once again, which is good because critical hit chance was kind of stupid and um, hard to understand. And everyone knows the good old strength bonus with, uh, you know, max strength gear, getting them DDS specs, all that stuff. But that's good. I think that's better. Uh, ability damage has now been fine-tuned to address long-term imbalances. Damage output potential remains the same, but weaker abilities have been improved and overpowered abilities toned down. So nothing really changed except the fact that like there won't be one standout ability for each, you know, class that that you should always use as as soon as you can because they're all pretty much going to be doing the same amount of damage roughly like the um <clears throat> like the thresholds all do around the same, the basics will all do around the same because they balanced it out. Hopefully that's how it is. I mean, I haven't tested anything, obviously. This is just based on what they're saying on the page. Uh, you now get more life points from uh, stats than from armor. That's what I said uh, with, the, with the thing. Like, you get most of your life points from your health uh, hit points level. Um, and combat triangle penalties and bonuses are slightly relaxed, which I think is good. I think they're a bit too strict in the... Uh, previously like if you didn't use a combat style that your opponent was weak to you'd have a pretty tough time getting some good hits on it so i think that's good that they relaxed that at least slightly um so let's keep looking here some bosses have had their difficulty increased so that's uh what the what they're talking about such as the goblin Wars dungeon generals and then have had their difficulty uh increased which is kind of annoying uh, hopefully they make it a little bit more balanced if they can but um yeah, that's pretty much it, I believe. Um, nothing else really important. But uh, one thing I also wanted to mention that was posted on the RuneScape homepage a long time ago. I think it was actually in the BTS July. Let me just take a look, see if I can find it really quick. But they're going to be adding Twitch integration into RuneScape, which is awesome. I'm really excited for that to happen. And I, once they add that, I will be streaming so much more. Like I'll be streaming like every day if I can even. Yep, Twitch integration, a preview. Okay, so they already have a preview with it. Huh. Okay, well, that's pretty awesome. I'm really looking forward to that because I will definitely be making a lot of good use of that and um, streaming as often as I can once that comes out because Twitch integration will make it so much easier to stream and everything like that. So I am really looking forward to that. Yeah, it was in the BTS for July, actually. So maybe it'll come out this month. Who knows, but... um. That would be pretty sweet if they, yeah, Twitch integration product this month. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that coming out. And I'll be streaming a lot once it does. But other than that, guys, I just want to let you know what was the deal and I'll talk about the latest updates. I hope you all did enjoy it. Please like and favorite if you did. Subscribe for future videos. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.